Good morning, and thanks for joining me for this special celebration of our 2020 Husker graduates. Today is a historic celebration in our 151 year history. We'll award a record number of degrees, and if this were a normal year, at this very moment, your faculty, family, and friends would be gathered at Pinnacle Bank Arena for our formal commencement ceremony. It's one of my very favorite days of the year. In fact, the University of Nebraska has celebrated commencement with a formal ceremony nearly every year since 1869, with very few exceptions. One of those, ironically, was a commencement cancellation, believe it or not, during the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. Back then, as now, we didn't let world events get in the way of figuring out other ways to recognize the great accomplishments of our graduates. Our thanks to NET for making this program available to all Nebraskans on statewide television and worldwide on streaming. We invite you to share in the celebration on social media using the hashtag GoBigGrad. While we're so happy to celebrate today, a television show is just not a substitute for the real thing. So we sincerely invite our graduates to come back to your alma mater and join us at one of our future ceremonies at Pinnacle Bank Arena. You'll get to walk across the stage and we'll be giving you special recognition as the class of 2020. By now, graduates should have received a small gift from your university. Our staff have worked tirelessly behind the scenes, preparing and mailing nearly 3,700 celebration boxes to each of our honorees today. Among these graduates is a familiar face to Husker fans. Hey, Romero Lamar balanced his roles as a Naval ROTC midshipman, a member of the Nebraska Spirit Squad, and a recording artist, all while being a student at Nebraska. Romero just got his Go Big grad box. We asked him to help us with an unboxing. What's up seniors? So we finally got the awesome Go Big grad box in the mail today. Uh, I think it's about time we check it out and see what it's about. I only got my steak knife here, so we'll make it work. And let's open her up. <laughs> of course, some more instructions from the university. Looks like it's an inventory list of everything that's in the box. This is awesome. Man, I finally got, finally got my cap. <laughs> Can bring it on really quick. A letter from Chancellor Ronnie Green. We'll read this later. Some cool Husker stickers. Probably gonna throw this on the back of my, my car. Maybe a Humvee in the future. I'm stationed in Quantico. This is a pretty sweet alumni pin. Can't throw it on a uniform, but probably find like a nice fresh suit to put that on. Man, a cool class of 2020 pennant. It's absolutely unreal. Time is flying by so fast. And let's see what this is. Like a cool little confetti shaker. So we even got postcards in here. We'll um, definitely be getting some good use of this, sending some letters back home to Chicago. Congratulations to every, every senior in class of 2020. We finally made it. We did it. Go Big Red. We wish Romero the best of luck in the Marine Corps, and I hope your box adds a little joy to your family celebration. Throughout today's program, we'll hear from some proud alumni and supporters. In this time of social distancing, thankfully we have a little help from technology. The other day, I took a call from one of our very most famous graduates. Ronnie, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I hope that you're good for you. doing well and doing, doing well on this time. Uh, you were a member of the class of 1951. What, it, what advice would you like to share with our graduates? All I'd like to say to all of you graduates is that investing in yourself is the best investment you'll ever make. What I learned at UNL 70 years ago is it's delivered huge dividends to me throughout my lifetime, and it'll do the same for you as well. So congratulations to all of you, and go Big Red. Go big red indeed, Warren. Uh, best wishes to you. Well, I appreciate that, and I, I'm, I'm cheering for every UNL graduate. Congratulations on your graduation. I am so sorry that you cannot do the traditional graduation ceremony, but we all understand you're living through historic times. You'll be able to look back someday and say, remember when? But in the meantime, just remember, go big red. To the graduates, 
of the great class of 2020 for the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. I want to say congratulations to you. This has uh, certainly been an unpredictable year. So many things that uh, have been defined by COVID-19, but this is the one thing that I do know. The future is very bright for our state, our nation, and our world because of your great work. Congratulations. I look forward to seeing all the great things you're going to do in the world. Go Big Red. Congrats. You are now graduates of the University of Nebraska. Because of it, your life will be full of opportunities that are beyond your comprehension. Go Big Red. Hey graduates, as excited as I was to walk across the stage with all of you in May, um, I just want to say how proud I am. We all did it. We got our diplomas. Thank you so much for letting me be your president this past year and go Big Red. The Bob Devaney Sports Center has been home to Nebraska volleyball since 2013. Before that, the Huskers played at the NU Coliseum. Interestingly, we also celebrated commencement at the NU Coliseum starting in 1926. Over the years, the ceremony has been held at various other locations before bringing the ceremony here to the Devaney Sports Center in 1976. In 2013, as volleyball moved into this new renovated arena, our graduating class outgrew even this large space. So since then, in normal times, we hold ceremonies in Pinnacle Bank Arena. It offers more than 15,000 seats for family and friends of our graduates. Back to Nebraska volleyball. We hold a record 268 consecutive sellouts and lead the nation in attendance. And the team is led by my good friend, John Cook. He's heading into his 21st season here as Husker Volleyball head coach after leading the Huskers to four national championships, nine Final Fours, 12 conference championships, and 17 top 10 final rankings since the year 2000. Cook holds multiple Coach of the Year honors, but maybe most important, he's an amazing role model and educator for our students. And I'm so pleased he is a speaker here today for our graduation celebration. His remarks are titled, Dream Big. Here's John Cook. Today is one of the greatest honors of my life to be with the class of 2020 on their graduation date from the University of Nebraska. Sometimes through crisis comes opportunity. We are not going to let this virus take away from making this day special. You all have accomplished something great. Think of it this way. You've scored the winning touchdown. You've made the final kill to win a big match. You've scored the winning basket. You hit the walk-off home run. Today is a special day. Both of my kids graduated from the University of Nebraska. It was awesome to be there and watch them go through that. However, the speakers, I don't remember who they were. So today, my goal is to make this day really special, and you will take something away from this talk. And let me just start by saying how special this day is. The only time I ever saw my dad cry was the day I graduated from college. When the chancellor asked me to speak today, at first I'm like, are you kidding me? You want a volleyball coach to talk at graduation? So then I started thinking about it. Why would the chancellor ask me to talk at graduation? So here are some of the reasons I came up with. Well. The first one is, I'm a first-gen graduate. Both my parents were in high school when I was born. The thought of college never even came up until a coach took me aside and said, hey, I think you can go to college and do something great. Maybe it's because we bleed Husker. Maybe it's because both my kids graduated from the University of Nebraska and I paid a lot of tuition. I may be called a coach, but I'm still a teacher. Maybe it's because Nebraska volleyball has a 100% graduation rate. Maybe it's because you as freshmen started your first day in Nebraska in Devaney with the chancellor and all the professors in freshman, or, freshman orientation. There is no place like Nebraska. We have a saying here, there's no place like Nebraska. And I just want you guys to know today, there's a lot of people working really hard to make this day special, even though with all the challenges that we have. So don't forget that, there is no place like Nebraska. Today I also wanna share some coaching secrets with you. Let's keep these between you and I. I don't want this to get out in any other schools in the Big Ten. These are our secrets. The first one is the attitude of gratitude. I learned about the importance of this with Chick-fil-A. When our players were camped out to go to the first opening of the Chick-fil-A in Lincoln, I'm like, what is this place? I'd never heard of it. And what I found out is, it's one of the most successful franchises in America. And the reason it is because when you go in there, they make you feel appreciated. 
What do they say? They say, it's my pleasure. Take that through life. It's my pleasure. Show everybody you come in contact with the attitude of gratitude. It makes a huge difference. The second secret I want to share with you is the longer I coach, the less I know. My first year, we went undefeated and won the national championship. I thought I knew everything about coaching. 20 years later, I learned more in last year about coaching than I did in the previous 19 because I'm open to learning. It makes it fun. You, you grow on the journey that you're going through with your team, and it also prevents burnout because I'm always learning and trying to get better. The longer I coach, the less I know. Take that with you. The next secret is a great story I used to tell to my seventh grade boys basketball team, the first team I, I, I coached. And it was a story about the greatest civilization and the leaders of this civilization wanted to pass down generation to generation why they were so successful. So they had the smartest guys write it all down and they got it down to one sentence. And that one sentence was, there ain't no free lunch. Nobody's gonna give you anything. You're gonna go out and have to earn it and work for it. There ain't no free lunch. And the next secret, I've studied the most successful coaches and the successful business people and they all have one thing in common, a team within a team. They surround themselves with a group of people that are gonna help them be the best they can be. These are trusted advisors, people they can rely on and go to and seek counsel. I have a team within my team. I encourage you all to surround yourself with a group of people that can help you be the best you can be. And finally, the last secret I wanna share with you today is about trust. And this is a story about Danny Mancuso, where we came up with Dream Like a Champion. And Danny Mancuso was a player on our 2006 team from Omaha, Nebraska. And we were getting ready to play Stanford for the national championship. And we were underdogs. And the night before, we showed him the movie Miracle on Ice about the 1980 hockey team. Because we were underdogs, I knew we were going to have to have that mindset. So that team beat the Russians who were, had never lost. So we showed it to him. And at 2.14 in the morning, I get a text from her. It says, Coach, dream big, dream like a champion. Not only did she send that text to me, she sent it to the entire team. And at that moment, I knew we were going to win because if she had that much confidence that she could send out that text, I knew our team was going to be in a great place. We went on the next day to beat Stanford in four for the national championship. Dream big, dream like a champion. Every day, there's three questions I ask myself. The first one is, who needs me today? Every day I wake up, somebody's going to need me. I've got to figure out who that person is and take care of them. It could be in my family. It could be our team. Somebody needs me every day. The second question I ask myself, if they were hiring a volleyball coach at Nebraska today, would I be doing a good enough job that they would want to hire me? I've got I to do that every day so I know that I'm getting it done and they still want me to be the coach at Nebraska. And the third question I ask myself every day is this. Would I want to be coached by me? And there's some days I don't do a good enough job. I know my players leave and they don't, they don't want to come back. So my goal each day, am I doing a good enough job coaching my team and working with my staff that they want to come back and be coached the next day? I think those three questions are really great questions to ask yourself every day, whatever field you're going to go into. And the other thing you're going to have to figure out is what is your why? Ask yourself, what is your why? What is going to inspire you to be great, to go do great things, and to get up every day and get after it? And I want to tell you a story that kind of illustrates the importance of somebody's why. In 2008, we were playing in the regional finals at Washington. They were seated number one. We lose the first two games. We come back and win games three and four. We're down 9-3 in the fifth. It's over. Washington's going to win and go to the final four. Jordan Larson, after our final timeout, takes over the match. You can YouTube this and watch the comeback. We come back and win 15-13 in the fifth. Jordan wills her team back. And it was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. And then it hit me on um, what allowed her to be able to do that. And it was about her why. This would have been her senior match, her last match in a Nebraska uniform. Her mom was in the hotel and was too weak and sick from her cancer treatments to be able to make it to the match. Jordan was not going to let her mom miss her final match of her career at Nebraska. And because we came back and won, her mom got to come back and see her finish out her career in the Final Four in Omaha. That's when I learned the importance of somebody's why and how powerful that can be. When you leave today and you flip over your thing and you celebrate with your family, there's three bones you need to make sure that you've developed and take with you. The first one is a backbone. 
Your backbone needs to be strong. You need to be able to stand up to challenges. You need to be able to say no. You need to know what you're about and who you are. The second bone is a wishbone. You need to dream big. I just talked about Jordan in eighth grade. She's from Hooper, Nebraska, one stop light town. She told me she was gonna win a national championship and be an Olympian. She's accomplished all that. She taught me every person in this state and graduates in Nebraska can dream big. Set your goals high. And the third bone is a funny bone because whatever you do should be fun, it's, you should have passion, and you should be excited about whatever you're doing each day. So make sure you have those three bones when you leave today. And finally, it's an honor and a privilege to be with you today. Go Big Red, and remember this, it's a great day to be a Husker. Hello everyone, as a proud alumnus of the University of Nebraska, I'd like to congratulate all of you on earning a degree from our wonderful institution. Good luck to everybody in the future and go Big Red. I wanna wish you congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. You should be very proud of yourselves right now. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Go Big Red. Hi everyone, Eric Crouch here. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, a, a long journey that's uh, well-deserved. Uh, I wish you all the very best uh, in your future endeavors, and uh, go Big Red. Hey guys, Jordan Larson here. I just wanted to say uh, congratulations. I know this situation isn't the most ideal, but you guys did it, and wishing you all the best and success in the years to come. Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating. Enjoy these moments, have fun with it, but prepare for the next endeavors in life. Go Big Red. Hello, fellow Huskers. I would like to send my dearest congratulations to you all for becoming Husker graduates. Though we cannot be together to celebrate your successes in person, I hope you all can take a moment to appreciate the monumental accomplishments you all have made and how it has prepared you for the next step in your journey. Be proud and welcome to the family of Husker alumni. Well, congratulations to all of you graduating seniors. I know this is a little bit of a, an interrupted process for you, but this is the end of a very significant journey. So congratulations on your accomplishment it's a big deal, and we want to make sure that going forward, you guys have a great experience in the rest of your lifetime, and you're proud of your experience that you had here at the University of Nebraska. Congratulations. I often reflect on the outright grit that our founders had to have to establish this great university in 1869. The first chancellor, Alan Benton, planned the original four block city campus and purchased this land now known as East Campus. How lucky we are that Nebraska's flagship land grant university has helped generations experience the transformative power of higher education. There are a lot of people here who continue to build on a bold vision started in 1869. Congratulations from the College of Architecture on achieving this milestone in your life. There has never been a more important time to use your education to affect a positive world. So go Big Red, go Big Grad. I want to congratulate our students graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminology and Criminal Justice. I urge you to use what you've learned to make our communities safer and more just. Congratulations to you on this wonderful achievement. This is a special moment and we applaud all of the hard work that you've done to get here. On behalf of everyone in the College of Arts and Sciences, we wish you every continued success. Go Big Grad. In our grit, our glory, snow Big Red. Congratulations, graduates. We are proud of you and look forward to the many ways you will lead the future of business. Congratulations 2020 Husker graduates. I know you probably didn't expect the semester you've experienced, but you've demonstrated grit and resilience in finishing strong. Good luck and go Big Red. Kastner graduates, you did it. Congratulations on reaching this important milestone. Go Big Red and welcome to the Kastner alumni. Congratulations graduates, you're off to great things. Go Big Grads and go Big Red. Good morning to all our graduates, both our veterans, as well as our ROTC graduates, and all the graduates in general, congratulations on this momentous occasion. Go Big Red and go Big Grad. Hey Huskers, go be great leaders. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do. From all of us in the Hickson Lee College of Fine and Performing Arts and to all of our graduates of 2020, go Big Red and go Big Grad. Congratulations. On behalf of all of the College of Engineering faculty and staff, 
Congratulations. Now go do big things. From all the staff and faculty at the College of Journalism and Mass Communications, congratulations to our 2020 May grads. Go big grad. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you on your graduation, especially our veterans, cadets, and midshipmen in the crowd today. Uh, this is a tremendous accomplishment, and we wish all of you the best of luck. Go Big Red. At Nebraska, we're proud to have students from every state in the country and more than 100 countries around the world. Our international students bring to campus an amazing richness of experiences and culture. In fact, American students often tell me how their world has expanded thanks to friendships with our students from abroad. Members of our global community want to extend a special greeting to our graduates. To all of our international students, we're so glad that you chose to make Nebraska your second home. Your presence has truly enriched our campus, and we're so proud that you will forever be a part of the global Husker community. Muraho Huskers, Hello Huskers, what an amazing four years together. Rukin at Tekharraj, congratulations Huskar graduates, and go be great. Thank you, UNL. I love you. These columns originally stood at Omaha's Burlington Railway Station. During the remodeling, they were shipped to this very spot on our campus in 1930. They framed the original campus gates, which were part of an iron fence that surrounded the entire city campus until 1925. Through these old gates have passed generations of Husker alumni. Let's hear from a few now. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I wish you a successful and fulfilled life in spite of the uncertain times in which we live. To each of you graduates, savor the moment. Congratulations. Your future is bright. Go for it. Congratulations, graduates. Go Big Red. And I am challenging you to be a leader, innovator, and risk taker to make a positive impact on the world. Your aspirations will evolve and that's okay. You have the education to make a difference. Congratulations and welcome to a global community of Nebraska alumni making a difference in our world. Just because you won't be walking across the stage this spring doesn't mean that you can't march out and take on the world. How you handle adversity says so much more about you than any ceremony or celebration. And if that isn't enough to put this all into perspective, just remember that this also means that you get all of the cake to yourself. Nothing pleases me more than watching as our alumni leverage their education to find success and impact in life. And now you're joining that proud family. Here with a special welcome is Shelley Zaborowski, Executive Director of the Nebraska Alumni Association. Congratulations, graduates. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Nebraska alumni family. Your college days have come to an unexpected end, but you're joining a supportive community of nearly 200,000 alumni living all around the world who are proud of all you have accomplished. For the rest of your lives, you are Nebraska alumni, and I encourage you to stay connected and engaged with the university as you go forth. The path for your Nebraska experience was paved by those who came before you. It now becomes your privilege to pay it forward to the next generation of Huskers through your gifts, not just of treasure, but of time, talent, and experience. As a way to say welcome, I'm proud to offer each member of the May graduating class of 2020 a complimentary one-year membership in the Nebraska Alumni Association. You can claim your membership online at this website. Then, as an Alumni Association member, you'll see the many ways you can stay connected to the university and to other Huskers. You have much to offer our alma mater and your continued involvement is critical to Nebraska's success. Once again, congratulations. Welcome to the alumni family. We've reached the finale of today's virtual celebration. If you have your cap nearby, now's the time to get it ready. As I put on my academic regalia, let me tell you a little bit about it. Academic costumes date back to the 12th and 13th centuries. The ordinary dress of both students and teachers was the dress of a cleric. In the modern era, gowns have symbolic meanings tied to sleeve lengths, stoles, hoods, and colors. 
Our ceremonies culminate with the turning of the tassel on your cap. The tassel before graduation is on your right, symbolizing your times as a student here at the university. When moved to the left, you're identified now as a University of Nebraska graduate. It's now my honor to confer your degree. By authority of the state of Nebraska, vested in the University of Nebraska's Board of Regents, and upon recommendation from the faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you a degree from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, according to your particular curriculum and course of study with all of the associated honors, privileges, and responsibilities. Now, to make official your status as Husker graduates, I've asked an old friend to help us out. On my direction, I'll ask you to move your tassel from right to left. Class of 2020, please turn your tassel. And with that, you are a Nebraska graduate. I can't wait to see you back on our campus to participate in a future commencement ceremony or just to visit your alma mater. Although everything's disrupted, we're glad there's one thing they can't cancel, your bright future and impact on the world. On behalf of the entire Husker community, congratulations graduates in the class of 2020. Stay safe, be strong, and as always, go Big Red.